Hi guys, welcome to this solo nightfall run of the Tree of Probabilities. I'll be doing it on my Titan. As you know, the strike drops the DFA, so we're going to try and, you know, find a quick way for you guys to get this. I already have it. It's on this character. I'll be showing it off in a second. So the super's not really important, but I am going with Sunbreaker. Uh, we're going to try out the, the new Rally Barricade just to see how that works. Uh, I'm running Better Devils in my primary. I kill a shotgun uh, special and um, whisper and heavy. Uh, no big surprises on this one. Even though the weapon slots have changed, I'm not really just going to run weapons for the sake of it. I'm going to run what I think is a really, really efficient loadout. And because of the way we do this nightfall, this is pretty efficient. With the ammo economy changing as well, I find you drop a lot more of everything. I expect that to change in the coming weeks. I don't think they'll keep that going, but. It's kind of a sign of what's going to be coming. I'm loving the new the new setup. There's a lot of things I like about it. And it's just, this is all just kind of a precursor towards Forsaken, which looks like it's going to be crazy. So this is the DFA. This is the setup. I have I got it a couple of times ago, so it's, it's pretty good. And I hope you guys get it doing this run. Uh, th this is a pretty efficient run I've done. It's a one phase using the Whisper with the Titan. Rally Barricade, you don't have to duck, it will feed you ammo. So the problem with doing the true probabilities with the Whisper, especially on the Titan, is even with the Rally Barricade, is sometimes the shots don't register as three crits, and I'm not quite sure how, why that is. With the new Rally Barricade, it just feeds you another, another round. So as long as you've got enough that will put him down, you'll constantly be able to do that. So... It's 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 a it's a really good it's a really good idea. Changing the rally barricade the way they have, I done the paramedium with my warlock and I used no uh, void walker and I was really impressed. Anybody that's followed my videos for a while will know I'm not a big fan of the warlock, but I was very impressed with void walker. So look out for that video. I'll be posting that straight after this one. Also, I've made and posted a montage to you one. I'm very proud of it. I was quite nervous about posting it. I let a few people see it. Everybody told me they thought it was really good, so I posted it. If you haven't checked it out, you should go and have a look. It's, it's, it is pretty cool, even if I don't say so myself. But it's been accepted as Movie of the Week. So it's in the running for Movie of the Week. So if you think it's deserving, I will, I'm will. i going to link the montage to this video. And on the montage is a link to the, the Bungie website. If you think it's deserving enough, Please, I would love it if you gave it a vote. Uh, be nice to see someone on console doing this stuff, getting that movie of the week. And of course, I would like to win, but if you, I can only win if you guys think it's good enough. So if you don't, that no harm, no foul. The link is there, but please go and check the video out. It, there's some really cool stuff on it. Some stuff I never ever put on the channel. There's different sections. There's a, a jumping section at the start, and then there's like attack, and then there's crucible, and then boss kills. So it's it's, it's it's very good. So I've been told. So it's been a while since I've done commentary. I had a, I had a, a, a problem, a, a technical problem. It's fixed now. I have a new recording system, a new uh, laptop to record with. And everything seems to be going really well. Uh, so the content, the content's going to come obviously uh, in the next couple of weeks. going to be pretty thick and fast. I'll probably be, probably be uploading a lot more in Forsaken. We've got these three nightfalls coming up, so we'll, f we'll focus on them right now. So the weapon chains are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. Uh, the Warlock, I noticed it more because I really did use a different loadout to do the Paramedium than I've ever used. And it seemed to work pretty well. And I was impressed with some of the changes and the uh, scatter grenades are just insane. Especially if you use Slova, which is uh, the top tree, I think. So, but I figured I'd start with this because the DFA now with uh, the changes that they're making, I, I've been told today that uh, they've, they're they nerfing explosive rounds again so that the Better Devils year one version isn't going to be the clutch weapon. So with that not being so clutch, and I actually used the DFA on the Paramedium strike and it was it was amazing, it was really good. So it's probably worth getting. It's probably is more worth getting now than it's ever been. So get in here and get it. You can use this tactic. It'll work with a fire team. It'll work with well, if you've got a fire team, there are other ways. If you look on the channel, I've, I think I've got a, a, another 
a fire team wipe of of the true probabilities boss but what you'll notice here is i've done i've killed more ads in this run so far than i normally ever do and that's because we're trying to get our super uh so we can attack the end section just kill all the ads at the end section no having to wait and just get straight past it for anybody that's wondering and i'm not 100 percent sure how these this this uh this modified this this uh, strike card's gonna work at when Forsaken comes in, but we're still getting them on these strikes. It seems a little bit strange. Uh, there are some parts where it makes it really easy, and then there's other parts where it's not so easy. Uh, so I'm running uh, Sol uh, Solar Burn. I'm running Momentum and Heavyweight. Normal normal loadout for a Nightfall. Uh, so what we're, what we've got here is I really really stretch this jump because it's it's I jumped from a long way and the sh when you shoulder charge at the end here it will give you more jump back for some reason uh, uh, once you once once you get off all your jump once you let off all your boost if you drop a bit it gives you some boost back so that's how I was able to make it and then I just I just push this super aggressive on this this run. I uh, hoped that the explosive damage from the the hammers would would uh, would would be enough to get me through here. And because it's solar, you really do have to kind of watch out uh, with with snipers and stuff. And with the shotgun, I could just play so aggressively. And that's that's I used to run back in Destiny One. My kind of loadout always was uh, scout rifle, sniper, and rocket launcher. Sometimes a shotgun if I was getting in close. So I found in my first couple of runs of this Nightfall that I pushed too much because I had the shotgun. You know, the loadout almost dictated my playstyle. And it, don't do that. Don't if, take it, you know, from experience. Try and go with the best loadout. So, so we've went in with this one. Because I'm not really going to be getting involved in a lot of primary battles. We know we can run past a lot of this. So I didn't need to worry about an energy weapon. I just needed, because I needed to go quickly, and there isn't a lot of shielded enemies. Uh, nice collateral snipe there. <laughs> I do, I'm doing that a lot with the, with the Whisper. It's, it's crazy. Uh, because there's not a lot of shielded enemies, I can just go with a shotgun. I can push through as fast as I can get through. And if anything pops in front of me, I've got the shotgun to one hit kill it. So that's why I went shotgun on this. I went double fusions uh, on the... I went double fusions on the par the paramedium, which, I'm going to be honest, I was so surprised by how good the Void Worker is. Uh, you'll, you'll, I'll, you'll hear that in the commentary there. I'm still, because I've just done it, and I'm still like, man, I can't believe how good that, that super is. Especially with the Skull of, Skull of Dyer Ahamkar. Which gives you a lot of super back in a run I done earlier, because uh, I've beat it about five or six times today. I just wanted the best run I could get, and I, I settled on this one. I'd spent too much time trying to get it faster and more efficient, but I actually fired my Nova, Nova bomb quite near the start of the strike and hit that that many ads that I got the, the super straight back, and it's it's really kind of it's it's uh it's it's an it's an awesome thing that you can, because it really makes Voidwalker. I feel the only reason people used Voidwalker, basically, was so that they could get their health back from, get their health back from the grenade, or in conjunction with the tractor cannon. Now the tractor cannon does thirty three percent extra damage for all all adds uh, all damage types. So that that's a really good thing. It, it kind of opens up the possibilities a little bit. D Stops tying people down to 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 the one kind of weapon, and if you'll notice in the video, you guys probably have noticed this now, that now we're starting to find these guys, which I don't know if that's going to become a feature of Forsaken that in strikes and raids and what have you, these 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 guys can appear, these uh, fallen targets, these uh, outlaws. What well, I can't remember the exact term. I'm sure someone will remind me. But uh, nearly every time I've done this strike or the paramedium, there was a there was a cabal centurion here before, and one of the one of the times that I've done it, and it was it's 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 not it's it's off putting because you know, as you guys know, I've done these strikes tons of times. Now some people might be wondering why I didn't do the jump and round the edge, right? And there is only one reason I didn't do it. 
And the reason I didn't do it is because it's Vex. You can't do that jumping round the edge with Vex. Because the snipers, their rate of fire is higher, their shots hit harder, and it's solar. So if they double clip you, which I'm, I'm going to be honest, the reason I'm saying that is because it's happened. It's happened to me today. If they double clip you, you, you know, team shot you, you're gone. It's over. So although you might, you will get the checkpoint at that part. You will get the checkpoint if you, you know what. As you guys, anybody that's watching my stuff knows, I do not like putting stuff up where I die. I just think the only one that I ever worry about putting a death up that I don't, I don't actually worry, is Sabbath and Song Double Shriekers because it's just so difficult to get past there, and it actually saves you time if you die there because if you get the checkpoint, if you manage to slam, it puts you forward. You know another. You save it, but it's not much, but it's about 10, 20 seconds, but it's still a save. So, what we're going to do here is we're, you know, we're just waiting to get this last ad, and then up on top of the we're spot, up on top of the wall, right at the back right, we use that block on my left as cover for him, put down your rally barricade, and the rally barricade will keep feeding us ammo. So, I'll, I'll pre nade him, and then we're just going to go for crits. And as you can see on the screen, the rally barricade is just feeding me ammo, and he's gone. It's a really fast kill. And and the reason I chose the Ikelos was the shotgun is because of this room. Because now I can just go after him. I've still got shoulder charge, so I'll still get melting point. I can push off into the next room. And he's gone. You know, that's the end of the strike. We can shoulder charge this guy. We're going to take the snipers out first, but we can shoulder charge the Minotaur and just unleash the shotgun at him. And that's the run. I hope this run helps you guys get the DFA. I really do. It's going to be a strong weapon, in my opinion. Please, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. You know, uh, it's always good for the channel. But more importantly than than that, please check out the the montage. I put a lot of work into it. It'd be nice to you know for it for it to reach as many people as it can. And if you think it's worthy, don't forget to click on the the link and vote for it in the creation section of Bungie's website. Thank you very much for your viewage and your support. I will be here. I'm not going anywhere. The content will keep coming. Forsaken is going to be an absolutely amazing time. And the commentary is back. And it's going to stay back. So, hope you've enjoyed the run, guys. I hope this helps you get the DFA. And until we meet again, until the Pyramidium run, I'll speak to you then.